And we get that set right. Hey there, everybody. Good morning. Welcome. A little venue change this morning for today's installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. Today, we're talking about when to focus and when to flex. Stay tuned. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, where five days a week, you get tips and hacks dedicated to helping business owners and leaders just like you find and break through the one thing that is preventing your success. And now, here's the host of 7 Minutes in the Morning and your results coach, Tom Rigsby. You know, it is definitely a drawback that I can't work the buttons and finish my little dance while the music's playing. Anyway, maybe that's a benefit to you guys. How you doing this morning? It's Monday. It's a little um, overcast and dreary, but we're going to have a happy Monday nonetheless. Um, welcome to 7 Minutes in the Morning. If this is your first time joining me, you are our honored guest. When you get here, whether you're watching live or on the replay, do as Joe and Catherine have done. Leave a comment and say good morning. Hey, how are you? How you doing? What's that chicken's chicken over your shoulder? Whatever floats your boat. Just uh, leave that comment back there. Uh... Yeah, sun's peeking out. I had to put the sunshade down. A little bit. Uh, maybe it will, uh, I don't know. I don't get that worked up about the weather anymore. I mean, I need it to rain for my, for Vicky's tomatoes. They're not my tomatoes. For the tomatoes to come out. So, anyway. All right. So, uh, let's see. Yes, this is the show where we talk about how to start growing and enjoy the benefits of business ownership. Today, I want to talk to you and kind of this week, it's going to turn into a theme for this week. Um, but talk to you about planning, right? One of the things that happens, I, I titled today's episode, When to Focus and When to Flex, because one of the things that happens a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, is we get this idea in our head that this is the way it's supposed to work. It's supposed to go A, then B, then C, then D, and then all the way out to success. And the reality is it goes from A to 1 to D to three, to left, to right, it's all over the place. But, and, and, and a lot of, a, a lot, a lot, a lot of people, when I'm working with business owners who are struggling, right, one of the first things, ultimate, not one of the first things, but ultimately the conversation gets to the business plan. I'll ask if they did one, they'll say yes, I don't know where it is, but it's somewhere. Now, I've got kind of a, a unique view in the coaching world. I've got kind of a unique view of the business plan. I think it's important to do the plan. I think it's important to plan what you want to occur. But I think the plan itself is pretty useless. What, what is telling to me when I ask that question and, and why I ask that question is not to see it, to see if they're following it, but to see if they they did it and if they use it as a tool. I mean, that's it. My office assistant wants to get up here on the couch with me. All right, come on. Come on. Yeah, that's her usual spot there. All right, so here's the thing about the plan. The plan is just a set of intended actions. They're subject to change. Anytime you make progress and your point of view changes, the plan has to change, right? So <clears throat> the problem is that we, we hold on too doggedly to the plan and not to the outcome. That's part of the benefit of doing the show outside. You get to hear the car too. We hold on too doggedly to the plan rather than the outcome. And a lot of these business owners who come to me for help cannot even articulate the outcome they're trying to create. And it, it's just, it's fascinating to me how we can set off on it. It's like going to get in the car and just like just happened and driving out of the driveway. And where are you going? I don't know, but I'm going to do it in a nice car. Okay, 
will enjoy driving around, which, okay, maybe that's, maybe that is the goal, is just to enjoy driving around, having that Sunday afternoon drive. But if the goal is to create uh, a, a business system that feeds your money system, that feeds your adventure system, you got to have a better outcome than that. You have to know what it is that you're trying to build. Because until you can articulate it in one sentence or less, you don't really know what it is that you're trying to build. And that, that is why business owners, entrepreneurs struggle and Ultimately, 80, 83% of them fail within five years. That's why. They don't, they, they, they don't even know what they're trying to build. So you, you, my friend, because you are here this morning, you know what to focus on. Creating the outcome. And, and you, might not, you might not know what it is. That's okay. Take some time right now. Start thinking about it until you can... You need to be able to articulate what you're trying to build in one sentence. If you can't, then it's you don't understand it well enough yet. And I've had, trust me, hundreds of clients who have said, well, you don't understand, Tom. What we're doing is more complicated than that. Yeah, I hear you, and you don't understand it. And all I have to do is ask a few questions to, to prove the point. So... Work on getting that description down to one sentence, all right? Every map, says Catherine, has a hiccup or two. You don't stop the journey because of the detours. You adjust the process to reach the destination. It's like my favorite saying. You don't sit in the driveway waiting for all the lights to be green. There's construction about to start out here on the highway. Am I going to have to change my path from time to time? Yep. But, I, I mean... What, what, if you were, what if you were on your summer vacation trip and you came up to a detour sign and like, oh, well, I guess we can't get there, and you, you just turn around and go home? No. You figure out a way around it. That's all you have to, that, in fact, that's all you do. I, I tell you all the time, well, our job is to solve problems. So you're always figuring out ways around the detour. All right, that horse is dead. I'm going to stop beating it. You guys now have the, uh, the tool, a tool, that you need in order to be successful. Work on being able to articulate the outcome that you are trying to create with your business or any project in one sentence. When you can do that, leave it in the comment. Let me know what it is. I will be happy to support you in your endeavors. If you got any value at all from our time together today, I would appreciate it if you give it the old hearts, thumbs up, like, stars, whatever is appropriate in the venue where you are watching or listening. That reminds me, you can join us live here on Facebook every weekday morning, 7 a.m. Go to 7minutesinthemorning.com. I'll get you to the right place. Or just look for Tom Riggs, be the unashamed nonconformist on Facebook. And you can also... Listen to the podcast on all of your favorite um, podcast catchers, including tune in. Just ask Alexa. Hey, Alexa, play seven minutes in the morning and you'll get it. There you go. And if you have one, it's probably playing it right now. You guys have a fantastic Monday and I'll be back here again tomorrow with another installment of seven minutes in the morning. Take care. There she is. That's my office assistant, Raider. Follows me everywhere I go. <laughs>